yes. Greetings. Welcome back to Beaver Branch Disc Golf Adventures. I'm BMO, and today we're going to look at the Dynamic Discs Fluid Verdict. Just got this from Trilogy Talk. Check out Trilogy Talk. Use code MORRIS22 to get a discount at checkout. The verdict comes in at a speed 5, glide 4, turn of 0, and a fade of 3.5. And I have a couple verdicts to compare it to. We have a Lucid Glimmer verdict, and we also have the Chris Clemens Lucid X verdict. This one has a little bit of a pop uh, top to it. The Fluid verdict is actually pretty flat, and... This one had a little bit of a dome to it too. In the comparison section, we're also going to compare it to the Supreme Fugitive, a new mold, which is a speed five, glide three, turn of zero, and a fade of four. So this should be the most stable. For a control, I'm going to toss in an EMAC, a brand new Lucid EMAC True. And then I also have a VIP um, West Side barred to, to go with the barred shoot actually kind of end up being the least stable out of the stable bunch emac true should be the very least stable let's go check them out we'll look at the profiles and go hit the field all righty here we have a pro profile shot of the fluid verdict on the left and on the right we have the supreme fugitive which is a new mold verdict on the left and we have the west side bard on the right here you have on the left the fluid versus the lucid x the fluid is extremely gel-like grippy and uh, very flimsy almost it's very unique here we own a hyzer release Kicking things off, getting warmed up here. We're going to go Fluid, and then we're going to go the Lucid Glimmer right here. And then we will go with the Lucid X Chris Clemens series. So you see, uh, very stable. That Fluid one definitely would straighten a little bit longer than the other two. And here you can see the, the fade and the stability of the Lucid X. Now we're going to go with the flat release here as best we can. Trying to snap it flat, get it out there. If not, you're going to get a flex shot basically on the same release. You can see the fluid even got over a tiny bit. Here is the Lucid Glimmer. Definitely holding a straight line with a very dependable fade. And then the Lucid X. Very similar to the Lucid Glimmer. A little bit stiffer plastic and maybe just a touch more fade at the very end as the disc slows down. Here's a look at all those discs where they landed. They're all bombarding the basket in some way. Uh, so I was pretty happy with those first couple throws. Here we're going to go on Anheuser release to really look at the stability. This is a fluid verdict here. Just trying to get it over as much as possible. And then you'll see as it slows down, it fades back. It is an overstable mid-range. Here is that lucid glimmer. And lastly, you have the Lucid X. You can definitely see with that Anheuser release, the Lucid X is the most stable out of the bunch. Here we're going to go with a forehand shot, trying to get out there, maybe a slight flex to it. You can see the fluid got over a little bit. I'm going to try to get the same release on the Lucid and the Lucid X here. And you can see a little bit more stability in both of those discs. Some theories out there that I've heard about the fluid, you know, maybe you have the better grip so you're getting more um, spin on the disc, which would help, you know, help get it into that turn phase a little bit more. And here's a look. You have the fluid there to the left of the basket and both the Lucid 
and Lucid X discs over more towards the basket. As a control here, we're going to throw the Emac Truth, which in comparison to the rest of these is going to snap straight for a little while longer and then have a very slight dependable fade at the end. It is a fade of two, a zero two. And here is on the same release, the Fluid Verdict. You can see it straightened for a little while and definitely faded back. The West Side Bard tossed into the mix here, trying to get it out there. You can see it's a very nice stable, overstable mid-range as well. Fading back, Lucid Glimmer, trying to get this out there. You can see that dependable fade coming back in. And then the Lucid X verdict, the most stable of these verdicts that we have. Definitely as the disc slows down, you can see how much it fades back. And then last but not least is going to be the Supreme Fugitive, which doesn't want to turn or get straight at all and has basically all fade. Here's a look at the Supreme Fugitive over to the left of the basket. And then as we go in stability, you have the Lucid X, the Bard, and the Lucid Glimmer, the Fluid, and our control, the Emac Truth Lucid. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.